The Secretary General, uh, as you know, is in Washington, D.C. today, where he met with the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi, earlier this morning. He also met with uh, Senator Judd Gregg and Representative Nita Lowry of the House and uh, Senate uh, Appropriations Subcommittees. And the topics discussed included climate change, peace and security, development, and he thanked the U.S. Congress for their support, and he looks forward and to working with the United States. This is just in on a phone conversation, so I don't have anything further on their meetings. Later this afternoon, the Secretary General is scheduled to deliver the commencement address at the School of Advanced International Studies in Washington, D.C., under the theme, Global Leadership in a Time of Crisis. He is expected to call for a special brand of global leadership and a new multilateralism to deal with the new and complex challenges facing the world today. The Secretary General will highlight the fact that just as the world's people have become more interdependent, so too have the issues, adding that no nation can deal with them alone. He will call for bold action and powerful partnerships for enduring peace and prosperity. He will add that the new multilateralism should focus on delivering global goods, freedom from hunger, health and education, and security from terror or the threat of Armageddon. The Secretary General is expected to urge the students who are graduating from the School of Advanced International Studies to consider careers in public service, saying that there is no more noble calling and no greater good than a life of public service. We have the Secretary General's full, full remarks upstairs that are embargoed for this afternoon. And the Secretary General leaves Washington, D.C. later in the day for Sri Lanka.